Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.18.1. We're going to go over every single step of downloading, installing, and setting up Forge for Minecraft. And overall, you will be leaving this with Forge installed and, well, up and running. Even if you've had issues with Forge in the past, we show you how to fix pretty much all of those issues in this video. Things like exit code zero and Forge just not being there after you install, you know, like try to install it. It's all covered in this video, even issues with like installing it, like the process of installing it, getting an error there, we cover it all. So it's a good video to watch if you've had issues with Forge in the past, or if you're new getting Forge, we're going to walk you through all the individual potential problems, that way you don't have to worry about them, and they're solved for you. First and most though, we do have a our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. So go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour Minecraft server. And guess what? You can easily set up Forge on Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can play with just your friends, you can open your server up publicly, Apex allows you to do both very simply and easily. We love and trust them so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them, and again, you can host a Forge server, the Nail server, or a server with plugins all at Apex Minecraft hosting, all in just a few minutes. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless though, let's go ahead and get Forge installed here, up and running. How do we do that? The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you to our text tutorial for getting Forge. The video you're watching now will be right here. And then you can scroll down and go through a text tutorial of installing Forge for Minecraft. It's great if you kind of like things to go at your own pace, or if you just like text tutorials over, you know, video tutorials. Once you're here though, no matter what, you need to click on this green download Forge button. That will take you here, where you want to make sure that Minecraft 1.18.1 is selected. As you can see, it's automatically selected for me, but if it isn't for you, come over here to the left hand side, click plus 1.18, and then click 1.18.1. Then you'll see MC 1.18.1 here, where then all we want to do is come under download latest and click on the installer. Once you've clicked on that, it will take us off to add focus where stop, put your hands up in the air, do not click on anything whatsoever on this page. Do not click on a thing, just put your hands in the air, keep them off your keyboard, and then after about 10 seconds, click on the red skip button in the top right. And that is the only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that in the bottom left, Forge will start downloading on Google Chrome. Now you may have to keep this file. I don't, but you may have to click a little keep button. It's 100% safe to click that. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, you may have to save it in the center of your screen. And again, that's 100% safe as long as Forge is in the title. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser and we need to get Forge to our desktop. It's going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen. And if you're on Windows 11, it's in the center of your screen. And then go ahead and open up the Windows icon here like so, and then type in downloads, or this downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here you will find Forge. Go ahead and take and drag and drop Forge to your desktop, because it's so much easier to install it from your desktop. Now let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with, and wait! What if this doesn't work? What if you don't have this Java Coffee Cup logo like this? Your logos look different. Or what if you did what I just did? Right click, open with, and Java's not here. Or it is, and when you click OK, it just doesn't work. It doesn't open. This installer, it breaks. Well, all of those issues are actually fixed by the exact same thing, and that is Java. Java 17 is required for Minecraft 1.18 plus Forge. So 1.18, 1.18.1, Java 17 is required for Forge, Minecraft mods, Optifine, anything out there requires Java 17 for Minecraft. So you can find this in the description down below. It's how to download Java. It goes over all the steps in both a text format and a video format. And once you've got that, you should be able to open up Forge. However, if you can't, you still may need to run the jar fix. And that's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, right like so, kind of making them all work together and looking good. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Finally, we can right click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the mod system installer for Forge, where we can click on install client and click OK. Now at this point, the only reason Forge wouldn't install is because you've not played Minecraft 1.18.1 yet. And yes, it's important that you go play 1.18.1, not 1.18, because they're different versions and Forge looks at them as such. It will not work on version 1.18. It needs to be 1.18.1. So you need to go play vanilla Minecraft 1.18.1 with no mods. Just open it to the main menu, close out of it, come back, and this will work. Nevertheless, we can see for me it says successfully install Profile Forge for 1.8.1. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK. It'll close out of this, and we can open up the Minecraft Launcher. In the Minecraft Launcher here, we want to go ahead and make sure that Forge 1.18.1 is selected. Now, it should be automatically selected, and it is. As you can see, it says Forge, and then under that it says 1.18.1-Forge. But if it isn't, here's what you can do. Click on this little arrow here and select it from this list. But if Forge isn't on this list, or you have Forge, and it's not for 1.18.1, 
Well, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to go up to the top here, click on installations, and then you want to make sure that this modded check mark over here on the right is checked. As you can see, I unchecked it, Forge disappeared. It's no longer there. So because of that, we want to make sure that modded is selected. And then once it is, you have Forge here, hover over it, click play, and click play again. However, if you don't have Forge here or you don't have 1.18.1 under Forge, like so, what you want to do is go ahead and click on new installation. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible 1.18 Minecraft survival on Skyblock server. Come play on it. It is absolutely incredible. You'll love it. I can't wait to see you online. Nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and click on this version drop-down box, and you want to click on release 1.18.1-Forge. Once you've got that selected, you want to come under resolution. Well, you don't have to, but I'm going to. The most important part here is selecting release 1.18.1-Forge from the version drop-down box. Now, for me, it's right up here at the top, and you have to scroll down a ways to find it, but it's right at the top for me. Now, let's just go ahead and click the green create button, and now we have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.1-Forge under it. Now you can go ahead and click the green play button. Click that you understand the risk. Don't warn you about this installation again. You're good to go and click play. Now at this point, it should work, except if you've got old mods in your mods folder. That means if you've got 1.18 or 1.17.1 mods in your mods folder, this will not work. Forge will not open. Luckily, in the description down below, we have an in-depth video on how to find your mods folder and remove those mods to fix exit code zero error and get Forge open with Minecraft 1.18.1. Now, with that being said, I do want to mention... Now, with that being said, I do want to mention that that's not the only issue you can have. There are other issues that might just be Forge bugs. When we open up Forge here, you will see that Forge is still in beta. As you can see, warning, Forge beta right at the top. That means there are bugs and there are issues. So because of that, if you do have an error, you do have a problem, and you've removed your mods from your mods folder, then most likely it could just be a Forge bug with your specific system. Now, you can go and report that on Forge's website if you would like, or you can just kind of sit and wait. Usually those bugs are eventually fixed, and you can just install Forge, a newer version, when they do come out. Nevertheless, though, you now know how to download and install Forge for Minecraft Java Edition. I don't think there's any denying that Forge is, is open. You can see Forge there. Forge there. We even said we have two mods loaded. We, we don't. Um, it's just Minecraft itself and Forge, but still, technically, those are mods. Speaking of mods, if you do want to know how to download and install mods, and specifically how to get the correct version of mods and all that stuff, how to basically safely install Minecraft mods, we have an in-depth guide in the description down below on how to do that. It takes you off to an in-depth video, of course, because that's what we do here, and it will show you exactly how to get those mods. It's also on your screen right now, as well as at the eye at the top of your screen. That's an in-depth guide. It will show you everything you need to know to get Minecraft mods. And trust me, you need to go watch that video if you want to make sure you get the best version of mods and are always getting the most up-to-date one, as well as the ones that are compatible with Minecraft 1.18.1. Last but not least, come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play it on breakdowncraft.com. Absolutely incredible. 1.18 plus survival, skyblock, grief protection. It is the best survival and skyblock server out there, and I cannot wait to see you online. You will truly, absolutely love it. Also, if you want to start your own server, be sure to go check out Apex Minecraft hosting. The breakdown .xyz slash Apex. Thanks to them for making everything we do here possible, and thanks to you for supporting them as well. Nevertheless, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.